what's up guys and welcome to the aries ashley show it's me your girl aries ashley and today we're going to be talking about friend mail we're going to be talking about hauls and, and all that awesomeness i'm gonna just jump right in we're gonna jump in with the friend mail okay you guys so the friend mail that i have it's a little old but it's okay it's okay because you know what my friends still sent me this mail and so we're going to talk about it now this one it says it's your girl aries ashley it's from tisha keen and she sent this um last year but um, I, I'm not, it was so much going on that I honestly don't remember the timeline. This card is so pretty, you guys. I'm not going to read it because it, it was kind of, you know, personal. But oh my gosh, I really appreciate this, Tisha. It was so sweet. And I just want you to know, she sent some other stuff with it. Some really cute stuff. But um that stuff is sorted and put away uh, in my collection already. So I do still have the card. I was trying to find a way to put my cards up there, but I'll probably do that later. I just hold on to this because this um, really helps me to keep going. It's very inspirational and it totally motivated me when you sent me this. So I just wanted to say thank you genuinely. I appreciate this. And so... Um, that was my first piece of friend mail. And then I have this piece of friend mail that was quite possibly one of the most beautiful cards I had seen in a very long time. Um, look at this, you guys. It says sincere condolences. It is so pretty. This card... It caught me by surprise and um, again, it just, it says extending deepest sympathies to you during this difficult time. Um, Mel, I appreciate you. You're one of the sweetest people that I've found on the internet, like seriously. And I really, really appreciate this card. I'm not going to read the personal comments in there. But um, it's a it's beautiful. I keep this with me actually during um, in my work folder because it's just so pretty and I love it. The kindness just really keeps me going. So thank you so much for this. All right, careful not to show your address to the world. <laughs> um, so you guys, I want to send some friend mail back to you all and um melody i already have your address tisha i hope your address is somewhere in my instagram inbox um two more people jg and pumpkin spice girl i need y'all's addresses because i'm gonna send you guys some friend mail just to let you know that i really do appreciate you okay let's go on to mindful moments so for today's mindful moments i want to talk about two things that i would like to stop doing and two things that i would like to start doing so normally when we have these mindful moments we are talking about things that we do or don't do as far as you know what do you do for um, therapy, what do you do to, you know, meditate or how do you do it or how do you, you know, take care of your mindfulness or or your just yourself, that part of yourself, your mental health. How do you care for your mental health? It seems like every time this topic comes up, somehow I end up right back at one word and that word is accountability. And I am the only person that can change anything that I do. I am the only person that can be 100% responsible for my own actions. And so with that being said, when you look into a mirror and you start picking out your own flaws I like to change this, I like to change that, I like to change this, I like to change that. That can get very 
intimidating and overwhelming in a very short period of time, especially if you are your own worst enemy type of a person. That's me. Um, I will beat myself up in a in a second. So, you know, I'm at this place now where it's like, okay, listen, if you want to make changes, that's great. You should make those changes. But you have to give yourself some grace. Because first things first, one day at a time. Rome wasn't built in a day. And you're certainly not going to change these negative characteristics about yourself in one day. It's going to take time. So instead of trying to change 150 things at once to 150 new things that are good. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to focus on two things at a time so that we can create a habit. My first thing that I would like to stop doing is complaining. I feel like if you're complaining, then you're you're speaking out negativity, right? So you're supposed to th- speak the things that are not as though they were. But if I'm just complaining about my situation and talking about how bad it is all the time, then that's not getting, that's, that's talking about what is, right? That's talking about what's going on in my life that I don't like. Well, change it. First, stop complaining. Stop talking about that. Talk about something else. Talk about what you want. Talk about what you want it to be. Talk about what you would like to see. Talk about the things you would like to have, the things you would like to do. Talk about those things. Don't don't complain. Why? 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 It doesn't fix anything and it just really stresses you out. It sucks your energy and it just gives you like bad vibes. And we want to focus on the good, right? And we want good vibes only. So stop complaining. Number one, that's the thing I like to stop doing. The second thing I would like to stop doing is overthinking. Oh my gosh, you guys, I will just, I'll just jump down that rabbit hole and just fall. And it's like, none of the stuff is realistic. <laughs> like most of the stuff I'm thinking about, is not really going to happen. It's just that I, I, somebody gave me an inch and I took a mile and now I'm down the hole. And that's not a healthy habit that I want to have. Um, so one thing that I did learn in therapy was there's a little game that you can play and it does work. It works for me. It's just that, I don't know, I think a sick part of me enjoys the overthinking. But the way that I can get myself out of this is to just pick a category of anything um, music and then just go down every genre that my mind can think of or cereal and then name every cereal that comes to my mind and then eventually I'll stop you know you you throw yourself off the route of where you were going and it's very helpful so that is the second thing that I would like to stop doing so those are my two things I would like to stop complaining and I would like to stop overthinking the two things that I would like to start doing is stretching and walking. So yeah, um, I feel like my physical health, as far as me exercising, doing things that I need to do for myself, for my body, I have definitely just put on the back burner. I haven't been doing nearly as much as I need to do for my physical health. And so I feel like those two things would definitely assist in creating the habit of, I want to be more active. Like, okay, you want to be more active, but you're not in a good place to just jump right into a boxing arena. You know, like your body really needs, you need to stretch (laughs) pretty badly and you need to at least start back walking so you can sort of build up that endurance that you're going to need for whenever you do want to pursue a more vigorous workout routine. So those are my goals, you guys. So stop complaining and overthinking and start stretching and walking. And um, yeah, that's it for the mindful moment today, you guys. Feel free 
to put your purple heart and the two things that you would like to stop doing and two things that you would like to start doing in the comments and we're going to move on to a haul hey guys so my goose creek order was supposed to come today but i'm presuming that it's not gonna make it because fedex i don't know anyway um i'm gonna just show you some of what i hauled it is all over the place because i kind of already started dispersing but I did make it into the store today to BBW. I found a cute little hand sanitizer spray I'll put right there. And um, right now I'm currently burning the lavender marshmallow. The room smells awesome. Not going to spoil the quickie. Um, I got, yeah, I don't even like blueberry pie. You guys, I don't know what possessed me to buy this candle. It smells good. I ain't going to front. I say I don't like it, but that one smells really good on cold. So I got the blueberry pie. The scent notes are juicy blueberries, flaky crust, sugar crystals with natural essential oils. And then I got this uh, coconut lime verbena. The scent notes are zesty lime juice, creamy coconut, lemon verbena with natural essential oils. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I won't know until I burn that one. So I got Confetti Daydream. The scent notes are fresh raspberry, sparkling pear, pink lily petals with natural essential oils. This one smells really good. It smells very pretty. Um, I got the A Thousand Wishes for You. The scent notes are a celebratory blend of pomegranate prosecco sweet elderberries star jasmine and sugared woods the packaging is really pretty on that i got <laughs> i got the the plant thing you guys the the desk pocket back holder this was the one right here from last year the plant desk pocket back holder these are pretty i like these things um i think they're cute for especially for like background purposes is that all i got no i got this too and then i got the a thousand wishes for you in the fine fragrance mist so i believe that was everything that i hauled from in store today whenever my goose creek haul gets here i'm not sure that it will make should i spoil it let's just spoil it okay so i'm gonna just do a little either like a little screenshot roll or something something i'm gonna put it up there so you guys can see what i got in case you want to request any quickies now two of those things are presents so yeah, mm, how am I going to do this? I may cut those out. I may not show you those just in case the people who are getting them watch this video. I don't, I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> in case they watch the video, I don't want to spoil some Valentine's Day presents guys. So I'll probably just cut those out because those won't be a part of the quickies anyway because they'll be gifts. Okay, now let's talk about the newness. So by now, I'm sure you all have seen Bath and Body Works newness, and I'm sure you have seen Goose Creek's newness. Um, the sale yesterday and the day before was of, what was it you guys? It was a 20% off coupon, and then we also had what was it? The 10 off three wick candles, buy three, get three free body care, right? That was Bath and Body Works sale. I think it was a good sale. I did make a couple of purchases. However, Goose Creek's prices are way better than Bath and Body Works prices. Y'all, can we talk about this for a minute? Like, please, in the comments, I want to know how you guys are feeling about Bath and Body Works prices moving forward. Like this is getting expensive. I didn't realize how expensive like these things would be 
with this price increase at what it is. Now those sales like a 20% off $25 purchase on top of a $10 off, okay, that's kind of decent. I can rock with that. But aside from having the 20% off on top of the, the $10 off, how else would you be able to afford? I mean, unless you're just paying full price for these things. The way that, you know, in the candle community, you guys, we buy a lot of candles. So how are you going to haul like that? It's going to, the hauls are going to come to a halt with Bath and Body Works prices being what they are. Now, I'm not shooting them down. I, I love the company. I work for them. I mean, I, I, I love it there. But I'm just, I got to keep it real. Y'all know I have to keep it real with you guys. Goose Creek is coming for Bath and Body Works. Those prices, you guys, some of the jars, the large jars. Oh, yeah, because we're going to have to talk about this quickie foolishness <laughs> that happened um, yesterday. So these, there are some of these jars for $10.99. Y'all, how much wax is in this thing? Isn't this like a 24 ounce? This is a 24 ounce jar of wax versus the 14.5 ounce jar of wax. And you're getting these for $10.99. And these are going for $14.50. Y'all, again, I love Bath and Body Works. I feel like their their candles perform well. Um, like 80% of the, 90% of the time, 85% of the time versus where Goose Creek, that's kind of a different story. However, the price point here is what I'm thinking about because I don't know. I mean, unless people just got it like that and they can just dish out the money, then cool. Your girl don't, your girl don't have it like that. I can't dish out the dollars for candles like this anymore. Okay. I have to save my money. So anyway, y'all. Pink Beach. Let's talk about this while we're on it. I know it has nothing to do with the newness, but that quickie, y'all, this wax is murky, okay? Um, now, part of that is my fault. That's why I said some of what you're about to see is not true because I feel like I let this candle lapse, you guys. I let it go over that four hours, and so I feel responsible for the fact that the wax looks the way it looks now not entirely responsible because it did happen over the over time like as i was burning like this happened like this you guys i'm sorry i'm hearing things and it's freaking me out so hold on one. i was just tripping anyway yes i feel responsible for this but not entirely responsible what do you mean ashley i mean that i typically clean out my wax pool and you know what it didn't cross my mind until after a subscriber hey girl hey posted about the wax pool. and i was like why weren't you cleaning the wax pool in between like are you okay <laughs> and i thank you guys that i just i have got to calm down a little bit sometimes because i get overwhelmed and then I stopped doing simple things like cleaning out my wax pool. I, I normally always clean out my wax pool. I don't know what the heck I had going on. So yeah, again, I feel partly responsible for the reason why this wax turned out the way it did. However, I did have the same problem with another pink candle. It's called Peppermint Whip or something like that. I'll put a picture. Um, But yeah, I had a, the same issue with another pink wax. And I know I doctored that one. And I was very upset about it because it just was, it was bad. It was bad. There was nothing I could do about it. So yeah, you guys, um, I don't know if I could have made this perfect, but I think I could have made it better than what it was and what it looked like on that quickie anyway. All right. So yeah, that wasn't all Goose Creek. That was a little bit of Ashley and Goose Creek. All right, you guys, uh, let's talk about my organization progress. Well, I'm gonna just keep it real. I didn't do anything really. I didn't get very far with my body care organization. And I thought that I would be on candle organization by now. That's a joke, you guys. It's just a flat out joke. It's no way. It's no way. Like how though? No, 
So anyway, um, yeah, I did get a little bit of stuff done. I'll put some pictures so you can see what I did get done. But it was nothing to talk about, really. Like, that shouldn't have even been a part of the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's go to the product review. All right. So for the product review, you guys, I'm going to give you my final thoughts on pink watermelon. I did get a chance to use it. I used it this morning. Um... After using it this morning, I feel like I, okay. it's not that I don't like it as much as I did before. It's that I feel differently about what the fragrance is. So at first, remember, I smelled it and I was like, it smells like Jolly Ranchers. No, I don't feel like it smells like Jolly Ranchers anymore. Now I feel like it smells like cucumber melon with a juicier watermelon, like a true water so cucumber melon is like honeydew melon melon scent notes are crisp cucumber watery honeydew summer cantaloupe sparkling grapefruit and sheer woods this one is juicy watermelon pink petals and dewy aloe so the dewy aloe um does make this like a lighter more fresh scent um and i think that's why it takes me to cucumber melon because of the cucumber and um like the honeydew cantaloupe maybe but yeah you get this is like a fruitier it's heavier on like the the tr it's like a true watermelon but it smells as though like okay hear me what if they took the honeydew and the cucumber Maybe they left the cucumber. What if they took the honeydew and the cantaloupe out and put watermelon? I feel like they would be very, very similar. So not the same, but like cousins, okay? So yes, I enjoyed it, but it didn't turn out to be that candy scent that I thought I was going to get. It turned out to be like a like a watermelon in the garden after a fresh rain sort of a scent which I still appreciate and I enjoyed it the lotion meh I mean maybe the body cream was stronger the lotion was good as far as the formula but like the fragrance not really and it didn't have the best lasting power so I used this this morning and it did not last all day and I didn't bring it with me to reapply I wasn't really just thinking about all that um it was kind of weird to <laughs> to wear it during the freezing cold but I was cool with it it still smelled really nice I like the scent but I just don't know I just don't know that I love it as much as I thought I would because I thought it was candy and it turned out not to be candy you know so there's that now Lastly, let's talk about uh, this A Thousand Wishes for You. You guys, is that how the packaging is supposed to look? Or is mine like beat up and scratched up? I don't know if that's a design element or if it's just scratched up. So let's see what this smells like. We already read the scent notes. Let's read them again. A celebratory blend of pomegranate, prosecco, sweet elderberry, star jasmine, and sugared woods. Y'all, this smells... What is... Is this... Um. Hold up. I got a bag right here of my faceted collection. You guys, is this a thousand Christmas wishes? Pomegranate... Prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugared woods. I am not happy. Y'all, they just, they repackaged a thousand Christmas. Why didn't I see this on Instagram? I'm sure somebody already warned us that this was a repackage. I am not happy. You hear me? I am so unhappy. Mm -mm. No, I think that's going back to the store. Because I already have a thousand Christmas wishes in my hand. I hadn't even sprayed this one because I was using the one from last year. I feel ever so slightly defeated <laughs> right now. I don't want to talk about it. 
it's the same thing okay let's move along giveaway yes it's time for a giveaway let's do the following question what is your favorite bath and body works product just answer the question in the comments and you're automatically entered in the giveaway what are you gonna get you're gonna get today's haul that's right you're going to get this thousand wishes for you a thousand wishes for you limited edition that i didn't know also happened to be a thousand christmas wishes <laughs> so you're going to get the body cream you're going to get that confetti daydream three wick candle you're going to get the plant sanit pocket back plant desk holder is that what did I just say? It's the the pocket back holder desk plant. Yeah, that. You are going to get this awesome Burt's Bees refreshing face mask, and you're going to get this cute little tote that I really don't want to open because it's very difficult to fold back into the bag. So I'm just gonna leave that as is along with some other goodies that will go in there so again all you have to do to enter that giveaway is tell me what is your favorite bath and body works product yay okay you guys we're about to wrap this up that pretty much sums up today's show yes um let's see let's do a little recap friend mail i need jg's and pumpkin spice girls address tisha i think i have your address melody i know i have your address um mindful moments what are some things you guys feel like you want to stop and start doing but don't do any more than two because you want to actually do it so what are two things you want to stop what are two things you want to start doing what are you, what do you think about the newness the bbw versus goose creek price points i really would like to know y'all's thoughts on that on uh, who are you going to be shopping from are y'all going to be sh if you're shopping at all because i know a lot of people are on a no buy or a low buy but if you're still shopping i want to know who are you going to be shopping from because it's getting expensive the giveaway all you got to do to enter is tell me your favorite bath and body works product and then I will announce the winner next week. You got to be 18 or older and it is U.S. Citizens oh, on only. Instagram at Aries Ashley. If you're not already on TikTok at Aries Ashley, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already. And thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!